Yo, so today this is just on like a tutorial on how to make like a shader for like your pants. I, I don't know how to explain it, but like, yeah, just like an overlay shader for your pants. So yeah, li literally all you're going to need is pants, like a picture of someone wearing them. So they have the wrinkles down here and the plugins in the description. That That's, that's literally all you're going to need to do this. So yeah, let me, let me show y'all. So first, the way I found how to do it is I put like a white background. That's not white. <laughs> I put like a white background and I find best that if I put the value to 88, it comes out better. Yeah, I don't think it really matters, but th this is this is what I found works best. All right, now, now what I do is I just kind of grab this, right? And I take it. And I put it down as if it's like a wrinkle on the pants, like the imaginary pants, I guess. I don't know. So like right there, all right. And I'll grab like the side picture. And I'll do that. Grab it real quick. Drag it to where it needs to go. And like put it down. Right. And then grab the back side as well. Just keep repeating the process. That's the back side right there. And I'm just gonna copy this part over because yeah. Damn bro, I'm slow as fuck. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, all right, now I'm going to get rid of the template so I can just make this look cleaner. It literally, like, just merge them together, make them look like they're supposed to be together. It doesn't have to look too good because you see in a second. So, yeah, let me just do this real quick. All right, so like that. It looks a little bit better. All right, now um, what I do is this, this is weird i don't know if any other people do this shit but yeah with the um trying to make sure all these plugins are the same pack that i downloaded so what i do is i basically grab the black and white plus right and then i put the paint.net method click it and then i put it up to maximum i don't know why it's not doing it hold on i think i had something selected but anyways, I'll put it up to maximum. It's not really showing a difference only because these pants are basically black and white. So it's not going to show much of a difference. But point is, you want this like to be close to your white, but not too like white, if that makes any sense. Like this, kind of. Right. <laughs> I'm making no sense. I already know I'm not. But anyways, after you do that. I then use this transparency tool and lower it to like around negative 20 and negative 30, I'd say. Right, and then for the next thing I use is this clarity. It's, I'm pretty sure it's in paint.net already, but yeah, I use clarity and then I just boost this all the way up most of the time. It, it just adds more detail to it when you go the finished product will look better basically and yeah so well, let me get rid of this layer now so now basically just do this use the magic tool and then go down that way you only have the gray as you can see on this one spot and just merge the layers down now basically grab your brush tool set it to zero and just like I don't know how to explain it just like kind of fade it you'll see what I mean when I put it on like a pair of jeans kind of just fade it like that right and yeah that that's that's basically it honestly except for these lines are a little too harsh there we go that's that's basically it though you can tweak the brightness and shit I find that if it's more gray it works better so for example, I'm probably going to keep it like that and now test it in a second. But yeah, 
I did find that if it's gray, it works way better. Like a more light tan of gray. So yeah, let me just mark these out real quick. The cuffs. I'm gonna just do that right there. And grab that part and do that. Those parts don't really matter. I just do it for my own good. And yeah, now that now you have that, you can just copy and paste it. Let me find some jeans real quick to show you guys. I right, saw so this one. I guess you just paste it right. You do layer properties, you press overlay, and there you go. And if you think there's no difference, there's a hell of a difference. But yeah. Oh, what the fuck! I just did. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, that's basically how to make your own shading overlays and shit. It's pretty easy, but a lot of people think it's like really hard. I don't know why but yeah that, that's that's how i did it it was easy there's probably easier ways to do it but that's how i know to do it so yeah i hope you guys found this helpful and yeah like the video if you found it helpful please 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 <laughs> all right yeah no 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 goodbye